good news, Commander. Just before we escaped Iacath, Scorpio sent technical readouts to us. We're using them to enhance the gravestone. It's her farewell gift. The ship is dry docked while we finish the upgrades, but Tora and Hilo have already formed a replacement crew. Our scout reports Iacath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, like comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. And we've seen nothing of Scorpio, assuming she did merge with Iacath. I think we've seen the last of her. When we parted ways, she seemed almost happy. It's more than she deserves. Regardless, we have no way of knowing when Iacath will be safe to explore again. When that changes, you'll be the first to know. There has been no change in Senya's condition. The doctors have done all they can. The rest is up to her. Senya deserves to live. She sacrificed everything for her son. She believes in Arkan's redemption, but so far he hasn't done anything to prove her right. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkorian triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe. I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini Frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy Vessel 3265. 